I started growing my nails because I was insulted by a young man years ago when I was young because I used to bite my nails really bad. And he told me my hands looked like feet. So from that day on, I never bit my nails again and I decided to let them grow. And I never cut them. Just, you know, once they started to grow, I saw the beauty in, you know, having, you know, long, beautiful nails. So I just never cut. I, my clientele built up more with long nails and I wanted to be part of that happiness. And I was like, you know, I'm going to grow my nails too. And I did. And I've grown them out to like 10 inches, cut them back up and started all over again. And um, these are like two to three inches now. Um, I started growing my nails um, when I first came to Maria. Uh, it was, um, it was short and then I let them grow mm -hmm. because I, I was looking at the other ladies and they had so many beautiful nails and that's how I became a long nail goddess. I had strict parents, no lipstick, no makeup, no nail polish, couldn't bite your nails, couldn't do anything, just really plain Jane. So when I became an adult and on my own, with my own family, I decided to start getting my nails done. And um, at that time, the nail game, the nail that nail atmosphere was pop was popularized more so by Asian ethnicity people, you know. And um, I used to get like cotton candy, which is a real simple color, and they would charge me fifty dollars just to do a black line. I'm a trendsetter. I've always been different since I was born. My mother said I should have been from Missouri to show me state because I always ask questions. I'm very inquisitive, and I'm kind of smart actually. Only thing I can say I can't do now just tie a sneaker. It's what? Tie a sneaker. That's why I stopped buying sneakers. <laughs> I can't do it because that's how I get my daughter <clears throat> and she was like, well, you need to get some shoes you can put on because I can't keep tying your sneakers. <laughs> so I won't buy sneakers. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> no, no, I, don't know. I learned how to do things and work around them. So it was never like really a major problem. I just have issues with small things like, um, I would say using my ATM card, you know, pulling it out. But now I've learned a way, because if there's a will, there's a way. So I've learned how to maneuver and pull it out like this instead of trying to use my nails and, you know, different things. Sometimes it's comical because some people, it draws a crowd. People are standing around watching to see, how is she going to get that card out of there? So I'll just, you know. I can do everything with it. I can cook. I can clean. I can tie shoes. I can tie sneak. I can tie sneakers. I can't tie my shoe. Can't put my earring on. Can't go to the ATM machine. You gotta take something with you. Now I use my keys to pull it out. Really? Really? You should see it. I got it on to that one the other day. I couldn't find my tweezers, so I was like, "Oh, I don't want to ask these kids. So let me just use the keys." have the luxury, they don't have to work. Like, how do you, like, function? Nasty. Dirty, it's germy. Impractical. Can't really do that much. Oh, gross. Who wipes their butt? Gnarly. Gross. The definition of body shaming, the practice of making humiliating comments, critical comments about a person. That's shaming, and it can be from weight to your nails. It happens. It's real. They ask, um, how do I, how do I wipe? And my answer would be the same way you do. We're all human beings. I cook normal. I, I clean up. I do my hair. I get dressed. 
like everybody else. Let's see, how can I, could I tie my shoe? Do I cook? Um, do I clean up? Or how do I go to the bathroom? So those are some of the things I get from people. Some people negative, but I'm humble. You know, like I said, I'm a church going person. I'm humble. I don't let it bother me too much, you know. Um, I just keep doing what I do. I mean, nobody could judge me but God, you know, so I don't, I, I feel like they don't know me to judge me. And they don't know who I am just by looking at somebody. You don't judge somebody just looking at somebody when you really don't know who they are. But just looking at something and say, well, ooh, that's nasty. I and mean, I wouldn't let her cook for me. Or I wouldn't, she couldn't, you know, wouldn't touch my food, you know. So I just look at it like they don't know who I am. And for judging somebody that you really don't know just by looking at them, you know, that's not cool. But uh, like I said, yeah, I'm very humble. So I have to say for people that don't know me, it's okay because you don't know me and I love me. <laughs> and that's all that counts. <laughs> So it's really intriguing to some and it's disgusting to others. I was in a grocery store and this young man was like, what you doing in here? I know you're not cooking for somebody. And as a matter of fact, I have my own catering business. I wouldn't eat your food. Why not? That's nasty. Like, you know, they say different things like that. Misconception. They hate the, I love cooking. That's my second passion. And, um, I'm pretty sure a couple of the girls said it before, I won't eat out of your hands. Somebody that I don't know, and I'm in the line in path, and we're going to these stores, and somebody tells me, that is so disgusting, I will never eat out of, you know how much germs nails have? Some of the doctors from the show, the doctors, they interviewed us maybe a year or so ago, and while they were doing this interview, they took swabs of the germs under our nails, and opposed to us, with long nails and the people in the audience with short nails, they had more fecal bacteria than we did. Most people don't understand that because we have long nails, we're very mindful of this. And most, for me, I wash my hands constantly. And I'm not talking about just using uh, the hand wash. I wash my hands constantly. And because we have a filler on our nails that makes food and particles slide right off. We are, nail, we are hand models. And what is a hand model? Somebody who displays art, fashion, makeup. We just, we use our hands and, but we do it every day. We love doing it. You don't say anything about people, like, you know, people walk on the runway with clothes and, you know, makeup, the, the Kardashians. Nobody talks, that's all, everybody loves that. So there is a world that loves us, but it, like we deal with the same things that they deal with as well. So it's called body shaming and yes, we do want to bring light to it. So we're hoping that these platforms like this and others will open up for us. Normally I would say, get on the bus, get with it, you know change but that's not what I want to tell everybody mind your business mind study to be quiet and mind your own business yeah try that Me being a transgender for 23 years now, I know what it felt to be mocked. And I know they do as well with the long nails. We're like society reject. And I want, when they come to my salon, I wanted to make that safe haven for them. So I make them feel as comfortable as possible. And it does, and it worked, and it had worked. And I can tell because it's like, uh, how can I tell you, okay, I'm gonna start crying. No, I love my girls. Okay. Um, they see more. They see me more than they see their family. And I say this a lot because they really do. I see them every twice a week. So it's like we have a relationship and we bond so much. We talk intimacy that probably they don't even tell their husbands or their sisters and brothers because we become a family. And when we all get together, that love that we experience is just phenomenal, like an explosion, because we all have one thing in common, and it's our nails. 